a budget-friendly day trading computer that sounds too good to be true. Today, I want to break down my new high-performance, budget-friendly, day trading computer custom built PC. And I'm gonna break down the build and my overall new day trading setup in this video. Day trading, budget friendly, it just doesn't go together, but it can. And that's why I built a budget friendly day trading computer, a custom built PC. Now in the past, I talked about how I was using different Macs, different Apple computers for day trading, using different programs like Crossover and stuff like that to run Dash Trader Pro. But it really came down to the point where I was tired of it, it became undependable, and I just went out and built my own PC. Because Dash Trader Pro is going to work best on a PC Windows platform. Now I did not go out and build some crazy top of the line, best of the best ever PC, because I really just need something that's gonna run Dash Trader Pro. And you can see behind me, these charts by no means are graphic intensive. So the biggest thing for me was really just to build a computer that's dependable, that's going to be durable, and it's gonna run for hours and hours, not overheat, not have any problems, and that's really just what I needed. So you'll see inside the actual computer itself, I got a bunch of fans, I got one GPU, I got 16 gigs of RAM, I got an i7 processor, I think 16 gigs of RAM is plenty for this computer. Now one thing I would suggest, if you're going to build a day trading computer, is to buy a solid state drive. Old school hard drives take longer to turn on. They also have problems overheating and they're running all the time. You know, stuff happens with hard drives. And the last thing that I want is my day trading computer to take a long time to turn on. And I also don't want to ever have any issues with my hard drive crashing or failing. So an SSD is going to be a lot more dependable. Remember, we're building a computer that's dependable and easy to use. Really what it comes down to is building a computer that works best for you, having your monitor set up the way that you want to have it and then kind of figuring out what works best. What I have going on right now with my new setup is I have these two 27 inch monitors. They're curved actually. There's a lot of tutorials online on how to build a computer. If you don't know how to, you can do it. I used a couple different websites, Amazon, Newegg, and just went around and figured out what was the best deals, what was cheapest, put parts together and made it work. I also kind of splurged to get some cool LED fans because I gotta make the computer look cool for YouTube. And I gotta flex on those people, you know? Look at my computer. Now, like I said, I've got the two monitors and I got the third monitor. Now the top monitor, I have a one minute chart, a five minute chart, and a daily chart pulled up there. And I'm keeping an eye on time and sales level two and all that and kind of watching everything when I'm in a trade and kind of breaking it down. And then below there, I have another monitor that has six charts pulled up and those six charts are stocks that I'm watching, stocks that might be in play that day. So normally pre-market, I'll find like six or seven stocks, I'll put them on there and like that's the stocks that I'm watching. I might draw some lines and say, hey, if it gets to this point, it might be a buy, it might be a sell. So that's what I'm watching on the bottom. Over on the left monitor, I'm also pulling up like the daily chart sometimes or maybe the bigger picture just so I can see, you know, a little bit bigger kind of what the overall trend is or what is going on with that stock at that time. Also for streaming, I'm using the Rode NT-USB microphone. It works great. And I got the little Logic Brio camera up there up top and I got the green screen that normally goes right here where I'm filming at. I made a video before talking about the difference between Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable and some people left comments talking about how Ethernet cable is going to be more dependable it's gonna be more consistent. I'm running the ethernet cable directly from my router into my computer. That way I don't have to worry about the Wi-Fi. There's a lot of Wi-Fi in this building. So I wanna have the most consistent, strongest connection and that's gonna be with the ethernet cable. Also something new that I got going on is I have a standing desk. My desk is now standing. I guess that's what you call it. It's a standing desk. So I used to always trade sitting down and I think a lot of times I would just sit there and sit there and I would kind of over trade. I feel like I maybe would trade longer because I was sitting. Now with the standing desk, I feel like I kind of can move around a little bit more, keep the body moving, keep the blood flowing, and also kind of over time, I'm gonna get tired because I'm standing up the whole time trading, and then it's like after two hours, I'm like, okay, I'm over it. I can't tell you for sure if a standing desk is gonna be better than a sitting desk for day trading. I've changed my setup probably a thousand times since I started this channel. I'm always changing my layouts, I'm always changing my monitors, I'm always changing things around. People always ask me the question, what scanner am I using? I'm only using Dash Trader Pro, top list. Now the top list is basically the most active stocks and the biggest gainers and the biggest losers. And it's basically ranking what stocks have gained the most, what stocks have lost the most. And you can kind of tweak that as well to figure out kind of better settings for what stocks you're looking for. But it works great for me. So I'm always keeping an eye on the top list from Dash Trader Pro. But for me right now, I'm loving this new computer. I got my hotkeys all dialed in. I got my new keyboard all dialed in. 
my new mouse, it's looking money. And I feel like this new setup looks pretty good, not just for YouTube, but also just when I'm standing there and I'm using it, it's functional, it's dependable, and it's gonna last a while, it's gonna work, and it's gonna run everything that I need to run for day trading, and that's where it comes down to. It's a day trading computer, it's a budget-friendly day trading computer. A computer that I can get my orders in and out, and that's what this computer does. There it is, my new budget-friendly, high-performance day trading computer. Leave a comment below, what type of computer are you trading on? What type of monitors? What do you got going on? What's your day trading setup? I'm interested to see kind of what people are using. How many monitors? It's always like the big debate. You know, how many monitors is too many monitors and how little is too little? Do I need a bigger monitor? Do I need 20 monitors? We'll see, maybe, maybe my next setup will have like 30 different monitors. It'll be amazing. We'll, who, who knows, who knows? We'll see. I'll talk to you guys later on. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below. What's your day trading setup look like?